Hello mandolin players and nice to have you here for another live session and the subject for today is harmonized scale. We're gonna have a look at that and the reason why I'm bringing this up is today I released a new tune into Mandolin Secrets Academy. It's the song Fly Me to the Moon, this classic jazz standard. And for me it's very connected with this Frank Sinatra take of it. And like we're gonna, and even for academy members, this video can be helpful. We're like putting in some, um, yeah, some fresh ideas into this before you go in to learn all the melodies and the chords and all that. And for people that are not in the academy, this could also be a good introduction for this song. So if you're interested in jazz mandolin, I think you're gonna get something out of it. And I'm just gonna actually start out by playing through the song, playing first the melody and then a bit, bit of the chords for Fly Me to the Moon. And by the way, my name is Magnus. I help mandolin players get a richer toolbox so you can experience more musical freedom. Here we go. I go into this and I, then I would love to go into the comment section and have a little chat with you. But here is Fly Me to the Moon, doing it with a backing track. some chords also. So this is actually what the lessons in the academy is covering. It's the melody for the song and also all the chords for the song. And as I said, I'm Magnus and let me see if we have some people watching. Please uh, put in the into the comments. We'll be very happy to see who is watching and where we are watching from. And we're gonna update this. Ian Harvis with us. Hello Ian, nice to see you here. Gonna also open up this, let me see. Louis Eads is here. Hi Louis, nice to have you here. You're both watching from Facebook, I can see. Uh, Audrey, Audrey from Belgium is with us also. Hi, it's a little bit delayed, I can see the reactions here, but always nice when you, you put your name and where you're watching from. It's so cool that how this 
these uh, videos are like connecting our us mandolin players. Don Dagart from Texas. Hello, Don. Nice to have you here. Uh, Rob Barba uh, from Cambridge, UK. Nice to have you here also. Uh, Lewis Eats, I could not find it on YouTube. Dustin from Southern Ohio, I can see. Yeah, because right now I'm actually streaming to both YouTube and Facebook simultaneously. And I hope it works, but it's not always it do work, we can see. Uh, I'm not sure if it goes through. I try to close that, we can see. Well, I don't want to get caught into this tech side. Let's go into the training instead. But so first thing I want to talk, talk a little bit about Fly Me to the Moon. This melody that, I, that I'm playing, it's all in the, in the key of C major. And all the melody notes does come from the C major scale. And some of you might have a belief that to play jazz music, you got to know a lot of different scales, all the modes and things like that. And I would say it's not true at all. Because uh, you can go on and play a song like this only knowing the, like, the basic C major scale. <laughs> That is actually where I want to start here, a uh, little bit talking about the scale and then we're going to go into some harmonized scale that is related to the chords. So first of all, we know all the, the, the seven notes of the C major scale. That would be C, D, A, B, and we're back to C again. So very simple, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, right? That is the C major scale like this. And as I said, all the notes to this song is coming from this scale. We have also a little bit of a G sharp there. There is, um, but uh, yeah, and for your academy members, you find it in the members area. There is the, the it's notation and tabs for this song. Also, it suits very well in the high octave, really. Like that. But then, We'll, to make a harmonized scale out of this, we're gonna add here the chords for this song. Bringing up this again. Um, so, and if we make a chord out of, we have now the basic scale, and when we make a chord out of every node in the scale. That's where we have the harmonized major scale. And what I want you to be aware of this, the C, C chord, it's a major chord. D, it's a minor chord. E is also minor. F is major, G major. A is minor, B is minor, and then we're back to C again. And also, now when we're into jazz music, we like to play like seventh chords, right? So not, not playing triads, but, but also adding the seventh to the chord. 
We, if we do that, we will have the C major 7. You can write it in a little different ways, but one way of doing it is with this sign like that. C major 7. We're having a D minor 7, E minor 7, F major 7, and a G dominant 7th chord. A minor 7, B minor 7, also with a flat 5, and then back to C major 7 again. And you know what? Uh, I think uh, Fly Me to the Moon is a good way to explain these things. Because you, you, these are actually the chords of the song. There are also a few passing chords, like a dominant chords preparing for um, a change. But they are appear very uh, like... What is this? Uh, well, just yes, passing by. So this is really the first chord. And so then you want to learn how to play this, this uh, harmonized scale. So if I'm, for example, playing the for only the, the C scale, it looks like this. If I built a chord out of every node, uh, and I, I now play the, the, the seventh chord. So first we have the major seven, C major seven. Play it now with the pinky, uh, sorry, my index finger on the C note. And my pinky is, is pressing down the B on the 9th fret and then this finger on the E note. So this voicing that I'm playing now, I call it the 1-7-3. That is really the intervals of this chord. And if I bring it up to D, it looks like this, to E. G, uh, sorry, F, G, so that is the harmonized scale, looking like this. So that's something you want to be able to do. But then what I uh, want to talk a little bit about is the voicings of these chords. Because you know, when I, you heard also earlier on when I was playing Fly Me to the Moon, I wasn't like, we can take the first four chords only. That's A minor 7, D minor 7, G7, C major 7. Very basic. The first four chords. A minor 7, D minor 7, G7, seven, C major 7. As I said, every, all coming from the harmonized scale. A minor, D minor, G7. Like that. But I don't, I mean, I don't... Uh, I'm not using this voicing where I'm actually moving it. Oh, sorry. Of course, I could do like that, moving the chords up and down using the same voicing for all chords. But it doesn't sound very good and it doesn't feel good to the fingers. And it's. Um, so the way to do it is to find like this easy transitions using some different voicings for the harmonized scale or for this, this song. And then the chords that I'm using to play the backup for this, also that I'm doing in the, 
uh, in the, this play along track, it's these voicings. A minor, D minor 7, G7, only moving one note there and then It's not very easy for you to see exactly what I'm doing right now, but uh, it's it's in the chord charts of the song, so you can see exactly what I'm doing. And um, I play it so you can see. You see the small movements I'm using here, as then alternative to if, if I would r prefer to go up and down the neck it would look like also nice movement but for a, a fast song and when we're doing like uh, faster things it, it won't work out so then we want to like See, it's a bit messy so these things are actually quite easy to play and I want you to go explore it yourself so um, yeah for all Academy members the song is out now fly me to the moon so uh, but I, okay uh, I'm gonna happy to answer more questions about this and I also want to point out if you if you're totally new to this concept of playing jazz chords like this and you want to check it out I have some free chord charts that you can go download it's on my website mandolinsecrets.com forward slash jazz chords mandolinsecrets.com forward slash jazz chords and there you can find the uh, actually the chords that I'm explaining right now they are all written out there and uh, so that's a very good start for you if you want to try to taste a little bit of this so uh, yeah I can see um, going going into some comments here again so Kim Madsen is li listening from British Columbia Canada hi Kim uh, Tasha Scott listening from Michigan hi Tasha Tasha, I hope I'm pronouncing your name in a good way. Uh, I'm very glad to have you here. Uh, Christian is here from Bildenis. Hello, Christian. Uh, some more people coming. Roland Steiner from Louisville. Hello, Roland. Sh Charlotte is here. Good morning from California. Hi, Charlotte. Uh, very nice so just a quick uh, checking in here if you're used to if you played this kind of jazz chords before uh, give me a thumbs up just so I know that you're part of it and if you never touched on this maybe you wouldn't put like totally new or something like that into the comments would be yeah, I'm just interested to know like your level here I'm actually recognizing a lot of uh, Academy members are here right now. And I know most of you have probably touched upon this. And I would also like to point out that Fly Me to the Moon, that's not the, maybe the first tune that you start with if you're new to this. But in I, all, I have a whole course explaining these kinds of things. So uh, you you you're actually starting for on another page. Um, Janet says Janet from Wisconsin. She's totally new to this, but I'm still glad you're watching Janet because that probably means that you're curious about this. So hopefully this can help you. You can check out the free jazz uh, chord charts if you haven't seen them. Charlotte they, she played this on guitar but not mandolin. It's the same kind of thinking and same kind of approach to almost any instrument. But one of, of the um, one of the things that's a little special for the mandolin is because in jazz we play 
often quite rich chords, adding the seventh, maybe even the ninth, and things like that. And we don't have that many options. We can't play that many notes at the same time on a guitar, as as we do on a piano or a guitar, for example. So we kind of reduce the chords a little bit. But that often makes them sound better on mandolin. So that's a little... Uh, Christian is quite new to this, but I also know Christian has been... is doing some very good progress on songs like All of Me. I've seen him playing that one. Uh, Kim says she's new to jazz. Yeah, and hopefully this could help you a little bit what I've been um, explaining right now. And um, also, well, backing tracks is also a very good way to practice with and uh, go along with. And I th actually think that was what I, I was supposed to tell. And it, it, Ian says it's not his strongest point playing jazz music. I know Ian is more into folk and things like that, but yeah. So yeah, that's probably if you don't have any more questions really about the uh, Fly Me to the Moon or the Harmonized Scale, I kind of want to leave you with this and I encourage you if you're absolutely new to jazz chords, go to my website mandolinsecrets.com forward slash jazz chords there you can find and download a free pdf with the 251 chords louis he can spell jazz that's good and um talking about that i also like that's one way i like to describe when it comes to jazz soloing that we want to kind of spell out the chord changes and for a song like this, it's also a very good exercise. And there's actually in the new content, there, there's a whole section for that. And for this, if I go for these four chords only, you want to spell out the chord changes. So when I'm playing a melody, you can really hear that I'm going through this. We can do it with very simple uh, motifs using chord notes like this. <laughs> That was the first chord. We can go, I can do like, um, go a little bit away also from the uh, approach to using only chord notes, add some chromatics in there. So on and that is also something that we develop over time and that's also part of the jazz soloing guide that is also uh, like the sister course to the comping guide where I explain things like this yes so thank you so much for watching and please if you find this enjoyable please hit the like button would be very happy to see some of that coming in that I'm knowing uh, my message is picked up there. And before I say bye, I also want to check in. Do anyone have a question about this? Please put it in the comment section and I will be happy to answer it. Waiting here a little bit for the... Uh, uh, Ian found this lesson useful. Thanks. Thank you, Ian. Glad to hear that. And I'm just touching on these uh, things that, I mean, it's more in depth in the academy and uh, you also will realize these things much better when playing the actual song, of course. No, as so I can see it right now. Mm. 
no more question but thank you so much for watching uh, very nice and this is gonna be a routine now every second Tuesday I'm gonna do a live training like this and it seems like I didn't succeed to go on to YouTube today I don't know why but uh, uh, Hopefully I can fix it to next time. At least I'm live at Facebook right now. But thank you so much for watching. And uh, yeah, see you in a new video soon. Bye.